MPs' expenses have been in the news again of late. One minute they're claiming money for a second home, you know, just like you can't. And the next their partner's adult viewing habits end up leaving a great big crusty stain all over their expense sheets. But are MPs really all out for themselves? Here's veteran political journalist Peter Oborn with his view. <clears throat> We've been asked to point out that the following represents the personal and some might say cynical views of veteran political commentator Peter Oborn, author of The Rise of Political Lying and the Triumph of the Political Class. Once again, these are views, not facts. Views not fa when I went into political reporting 20, 15 years ago, I, I thought that MPs went in to serve the public good. What I came to realise, the core thing which happened in the House of Commons was not opposition, but collusion. The, the MPs of rival parties have far more in common with each other than they have in common with ordinary members of the public. That, in fact, they are to a large extent engaged on a conspiracy against the public. I'll give you an example. When, when Jackie Smith was caught up in her expenses controversy a few weeks ago, which looked very odd to ordinary members of the public, when she went into Home Office questions, and the Home Secretary took questions, there wasn't a single question from the Tory opposition or from the Liberal Democrats about her very um, peculiar expenses arrangements. And that is because attacking either party on expenses issues is like using an area weapon, i.e. it's going to destroy or kill off uh, personnel on both sides. Labour now no longer would attack a Tory who's bent because there's too much at stake. If you go back a generation or two, people who came into the Commons, whether from the left or the right, the primary objective was to serve the country or to serve their voters not to make money for themselves. What is new um, is that the majority of people now coming into Parliament have sought politics as a career since leaving universities. And therefore, what we see is the use of the House of Commons, use of MPs' alliances, the use of political connections as a way of make, making a huge sum of money. Very interesting to watch what happens to former ministers. Let's have a look at Tony Blair. You know, he's gone off to work for an, an American uh, investment bank. He earns millions of pounds of money uh, for that, giving very high-level consultancy about how to link business and politics. John Major, Blair's predecessor, joined the Carlyle Group, a very, very uh, secretive, little-known organisation linked to the Bush family. Uh, whose whole sort of raison d'etre is to, to make, make money out of government privatisations and contracts. What it does is to cast doubt about the real uh, integrity uh, and independence of the advice these, th these people are doing in office because the people they're dealing with in office then come and give them jobs, incredibly well-paid jobs, afterwards. The political class funds party political activity in a completely different way to the system which prevailed after World War II. Because parties can't go to mass members anymore, there is one way they can uh, use uh, fund money, is by basically using that access to the process of government and selling that to interested parties in the business world. You go to the annual conference of the governing party, it's much more like a corporate away day than a party conference. And so businessmen who want to acquire access to the prime minister can get it, but they have to pay for it. And you get the emergence of these rather sinister figures lauded in the press, never exposed, these uh, people who broker. They broker between big business and, uh, and the politicians. Uh, and they, they fix deals. I'll name them. I don't know if you have the balls to put this on air. Um, uh, just maybe two or three others in London do handle a lot of this business of brokering, normally or often secret or very private deals between uh, very senior and rich businessmen and their political clans. Yeah, is it recording? Yeah. Uh, it's going, yeah. Um, yeah, sorry, 